Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday, Microsoft Office Word Publisher and PowerPoint. How are y'all doing um, this afternoon? Can I get a shout out for somebody? Come on now. Come on now. How are y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing great. Give y'all a couple of minutes to get on. I um, also want to make sure that you take your test. Let me put this stuff in the chat. Hey, Ms. Harder. Hey, Isa. The big day is tomorrow. <laughs> How old were you? I'm doing? thinking about birthday tomorrow. Oh, fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. Yes, ma'am. Oh, fifteen so sweet. <laughs> I'm about to come on and sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, I'm gonna sing happy birthday to you. We in church. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all crazy. It's, it's stressful. It's stressing me out. Why? Because I have. I have practice today. I have to get my hair done later on. Then I have driver's ed right after fourth period. What kind of practice? What, what do you What do you participate in? What sports? Basketball, Basketball and track. Oh, okay. So uh, when do y'all have like? Um, Cause we're not gonna have any like um, uh, meets or any games until when? To in February? Or how no, do actually. We're not. Uh, they pushed. They pushed our basketball season up. Um, we started like it's like the regular, like a regular season. They pushed it back up because they said that the pandemic was getting where they could control it. Okay, well, make sure you send me um like a um like a uh, a schedule, and uh -huh. also take pictures. I want to see you in, uh, take pictures because I would like to post that. I would like to post that. In, in our class, but also uh, in my sports and entertainment class that I have, I like, I like to highlight all my student athletes, or I like to highlight anybody that's in a club or anything that you're doing as far as also the uh, community. So if y'all have any pictures, anything, just uh, send it to me so I can give y'all some shout outs. Okay. Let me see. Uh, well, I was going to, oh, wait, please complete. I better put some of this stuff in the chat. Look, before I forget it. Um, I'm going to give y'all a little, okay, please just by Sunday. The link is in. Right now, let me see. I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to see. Okay, so I want, can everybody see my screen? Yes. Okay. If you have not done so, I want everybody, if you have a Chromebook, I want y'all to do me this favor. I want you to go to Office 365. Go to that announcement that says Office 365 and open up that announcement. You will see a link. I want you to copy and paste that link. If it doesn't let you click on it, copy and paste that link. And I want you to open up. Uh, and I want to, so you can get started. Give me a minute. So you can get started. Let me see something, guys. Hold on, y'all. Also, make sure you should have received an email. Come on. I got it. If we have not. Okay, I'm still here with you, so y'all just hold on. So by now, we should have done it. 21. Okay. I'm still with you guys. I'm just doing something. I have two, actually three computers running, so give me a moment. I want y'all to see, has everybody tried to download that?
I'm still with you. I'm just posting something in the class. So are y'all trying to download that um, link? I want y'all to download that link right now. Yes. You said um this link right here? Yes. Um, it will say Office uh, 365 Education for Chromebooks, but I do believe if you don't have a Chromebook, it should work for everybody because I know that you can download Office 365. And the reason that I want y'all to download it is because it will give you free access to Word, free access to PowerPoint, which is an upgraded version of, of Google Docs. It has all the bells and whistles. And I think it does Excel. So if you can, uh, you may have to copy and paste it copy the link and then paste it into a new window. Oh, okay. So I want to see if everybody would do that for me. It may take a couple of minutes, but that's okay. We are okay. And I am still here. I am just trying to. Download some of our um, class. Uh, videos I can upload them to canvas at 21. Let's do 22. Is everybody uh, downloading um, the link? Have you gone to the link? Let me look at my chat and see if anybody said anything. I can't find it. Okay, hold on. I'm coming. Stay right there. Don't move. Yeah, same for me. Hold on. Let me let me put this in here before I. I'm going nowhere. I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming. Uh, who is it? Is that Laney? No, it was me. Isa, y'all know I don't have a... Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, y'all. So you got 22, let's do 23. I'm still here. I'm going to wear. I'm still what I done done. Hold up. It's nine twenty-two. Okay, it's nine twenty-two. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something. I want to I want you to share your screen with me. So go to where 
So Gwendolyn, you say you did, you've done it. Um, Gwendolyn, open, not Gwendolyn. Um, I said, go share your screen with me. Share your screen with me so I can see what you're doing. I'm sitting here with you guys. I'm just trying to do two things at one time. We'll see how it works. Okay. All right. Now, enter with right there in the box when it says enter your school email address. Put your school email address in there and hit get started. So, if everybody else, uh, Ziana, the link is in announcements. It says, um, Yeah, I found it. Okay. So, key in your in that box. I said, key in your. Uh, it won't let you type in the box. Why it won't let you type in the box? Why? No. It's a link above it, though. Do you want me to click the link? Go back, go back to your screen again. Let me see. It should let you type in. Okay, but if you want, you want to act. Okay, click on the link. Uh, it won't let you type. Okay, go back to that. Go back to that link. Go to your, try that link. Let's see what. There it go. All right. So type in now. You should be good to go. I'm a student. Make sure y'all click that. And guys, y'all can use this. I think. It doesn't expire, but you can use it wherever you are. Um, you can log on. Say this if you're not on your computer. Once you log in with your email, it'll pop up on whatever computer that you're on. So everybody, make sure you do that. And, and it doesn't only just work for Chrome. It should work for every uh, laptop or desktop that you're using. That way, you'll be able to type up documents. People will be, you'll be able to share with people. You know, you'll be able to edit documents. Sometimes with some of the other stuff that we have, it doesn't let us do that. But if you have Microsoft Office, you're going to be great. So I want everybody, so Gwendolyn, you've done it. Ziana, make sure um, you're okay with doing it. Everybody, if y'all would do that for me, it only take about two to five minutes to get it done. So please, let's get that done. And I'm still here. I'm trying to. Kill two birds with one stone, but I'm not. I'm not killing the bird, though. I should say kill, but that is the same. Y'all know I'm not killing the bird. Oh, I am still here, guys. Hmm. Somebody, we gotta take a picture. We gotta take a picture. Okay, I said, did you get? Did you finish yours? Yes. Okay. 
So, Anai, did you get, um, Anai, you doing yours? Chris, Daniel, y'all let me know if y'all have downloaded that. Put it in the chat. If you haven't yet, please get that done. It will be very beneficial to you if you do that. You'll be able to do a lot more with it. Uh, Jayla, did you get my email? I sent you an email. I wanted to um, do a Google Meet with you about your flyer. I wanted to do a Google Meet with, about your flyer. So what we do is right after class, just hold on for a couple of minutes, okay? And you can present your flyer um, Monday when we come back because uh, we didn't get to meet. Come on. Um, I'm going to show y'all guys something and then you better do the attendance quiz. Um, guys, let me see. Hold on. I'm still doing my paper copy like I always do because I like to make sure I know who is here. I'm glad to see just about everybody in the place. I think we have a pretty good attendance with everybody. I'm going to call out in just a minute. Okay, Rolando Oliver. Do I have Oliver today? Maybe Oliver will come on in a little bit. Josue, Jashanti, I got a. Okay. Kinsley, Malaysia, since I would get on me yesterday about that. Nileria, it's like I got an email. I thought I got an email from Nileria. James T. Noah. Larea. La Lahana Elizabeth You said Malay <laughs> Ziana, you need to stop. Malaysia are you here. Elizabeth. Y'all mess. All right, all right. So Everybody, we're going to look at a short little clip, and then after I show you the clip, then you'll be able. Then after you look at the video, you'll be able to um, do the attendance quiz. But on yesterday, I wanted to point out, <clears throat> not trying to call anybody out to try to put you out there, but I just want to make it aware. James C., you did not do the attendance quiz yesterday. Uh, let me see. That might have been because those people are not on here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That might have been it. Uh, hey, Jashanti, you made it. So guys, if when we get done with the video and you know that you are on here, that's okay. I understand. Make sure that you do the attendance quiz because I told you I'm gonna start mark your absent. I've already marked some of my other kids as another class because you've got to learn to follow directions. All right, I'm gonna get ready to show you a video. Then after you look at the video, then I want you just to just answer the questions that's in attendance quiz. So, get out your notes. 
Let's, Let's wrap, wrap that, that down. down. This is brand, brand new stuff. stuff. I, did I did not put, put this, this on today's, today's geometrics, geometrics, but it's coming to a theater, theater near you. you. Sorry, Cassie. Sorry, Cassie. When, when uh, Microsoft, Microsoft changed, changed, I think it was from 2007, 2007 to 2010, 2010, they put, they put the, ribbon the ribbon on there. On there. I thought I'd teach this for a living. No big deal. I'll sit down and take the new test. And I failed that Excel test as big as I'll get out. And it means stay. So you can circle it, you can ask it, whatever you know. This is under sale notes. Dollar Sunday, Dollar Sunday, absolute reference means stay. It is a humbling experience. You know what? When you as a teacher fail, when your students fail, you know what it feels like. You know, because when students fail, sometimes they get tears. They want to pass it so bad. They want to pass it for themselves. They want to pass it to make you happy too. And so when you fail, you learn a lot. I was, I was homeschooled, homeschooled up until 8th grade, grade and coming back, back it, was it was absolutely terrible. terrible. <laughs> it was just, it's, it's such a culture, culture shock whenever you go from, from you know, know, being, being at home, home studying, studying whatever you want. It's not like, like everything, everything is a competition. competition. But, but whenever, whenever I got, I got into, into my Microsoft office, office certification class and I was able to get all those certifications, I felt like competing was definitely something that I was very good at because I had those certifications and they helped me out. Oh, I'm, I'm talking, talking to school, school in general, general basic three, three, I have, I have base one also on my own small, small, small business, business uh, my own business. business, so after so that, my class helps me be more efficient and where I can get all my things done. Well, you're forgetting your content control, you shouldn't delete that. The class itself, I love the class, I love the social, every day we walk in, she has something on the board for us to do, we never have any downtime, which it never seemed like it was a large class, but it was a good class, because 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 if you don't pass the first time, you get two chances, three chances, everybody's got Having that, that first one in that crowd made me want to get my second one and my third one. one. And then, and then I, graduated. I graduated. So, who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll get another one, one now that I'm kind of in my career path. path. Now, now I'm working on my master's degree, MBA, MBA at Murray State, State. Um, as, as well as, well as finishing, finishing my CPA. CPA. But, but it all started with, you know, with, the, the, the foundation that Microsoft Office has given me. Certifications coming out of high school. Uh, what are the things uh, in the job market that, that employers deem most important? Obviously, Microsoft Office a skill set is one of those and, and something that we um, herald as, as being extremely important here in California. I think for me as an administrator, the, the great thing about CertiPort is that they deal directly with the teacher. And for an administrator, that means so much because our time is so limited and so needed it maybe in different areas. And so the CertiPort company working with the teacher is excellent. Just hit enter. That's, that's what you did on last time. There, there are some students who get left behind if they, if they don't, don't get these, get these opportunities. opportunities. So I feel like part, part of our, our job, job as teachers, teachers to make sure, sure we get these opportunities in front of these kids. kids. Yes, yes, it's hard, hard to set up a lab sometimes. sometimes. Yes, yes, you have, you have to, fight to fight for funding. funding. And I think and fighting, fighting for them can really change, change their future. future. You, can you can open doors that otherwise would be open. I got certified in Microsoft Office as a sophomore. And that hopefully leading to a mentorship working with Murray Bank and from that it has branched into everything I've done. And so Will comes in and he's mentoring me on a daily basis of wanting to learn what marketing is about. It's something that he's thinking about doing when he goes into college. Uh, you know, when I was in school Excel and Microsoft was starting, and so Will's come in and been able to help me learn some different things, especially with Excel, because I don't want Excel in Excel. I can see a big difference in the students that come through my office when they, they have, have had uh, the Microsoft Office certification, certification and the way, the way their, their resumes, resumes look. These employees serve, serve as a resource for us so that if we have questions, questions some of our other employees have questions, we've been able to say, go, go talk, talk to this, this person. person. Now, now we're going to look at Shady. She, she got married and she needs four bedrooms, three baths. She's, she's got, got one of those big old apartments. Yeah, I failed that Excel test. I don't know forget that, but it made me better. It made me realize it's very, very challenging. You know what? If that, that test, test isn't challenging, challenging, it's not worth getting certified. I don't want something that was easy. easy. These, These kids, kids don't want something that's easy because it's easy, easy, easy. You like to do it. it. But, but I think that's one thing that sets these certifications apart is they're hard, hard and, and they should be. Okay, so I wanted to show you a clip of kind of why it's important to get certified. I just don't, so we will be working in the program now. We were working in the program that they were talking about before the pandemic hit. We will be starting a new program next week. And today I was supposed to introduce 
to you how to get set up, but I think uh, me and my um, director, me and my boss, uh, we are working together so you won't have to go through those steps, as many steps. So hopefully we'll have everything together for you on Monday. Um, so the program will be a step-by-step. -step. It will tell you, you know, give you tutorials and you'll know exactly what to do. So you have more of a structured um, curriculum, a more structured guideline of what to do. Uh, but we still will have our discussion responses we, and other items that we'll be responsible for. But, our, but the program will have you working on different exercises, excuse me, and you will get graded um, on those. Make sure you're staying up to, up to date with your typing.com as well, uh, because I'm really going to start enforcing it. Right now, if you go into quizzes, attendance quiz 924, answer the question pertaining to what you have witnessed or viewed on the uh, video. And I'll give you all about three or four minutes, and we'll come back together. Hey, Nileria. I'm still here, everybody, <clears throat> trying to do attendance.
I'm still here with you guys, just trying to fill out a couple things that are coming in. And I'm giving y'all time to do the attendance quiz. Okay, all right, so the video also, I wanted to let you know that the video, what you would be doing with the program, you will be practicing, doing all the practice um, exercises with the program. Then you will, after you do all of that, you will take certification tests. Um, so I'm gonna try to switch it off where you're gonna learn about the two that you will be, uh, be getting your certification in is Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. So I'm going to start switching it up where you're not just all working in Word. You also do some things in PowerPoint because when you come back, um, hopefully by December or late November, you'll be ready to take your certifications in both. Um, so certification, I know when we, we, with the other program, it was only like about 50 minutes that you had to take the test. And in the 50 minutes, you had to score like at least a 700. So I don't know how this new program is going to work. It will be a little bit different. But the the main goal is for you to do the exercises. Everybody sh will be working at their own p pace. But you can't just be messing around. You got to be focused. Do your lessons like you're supposed to. Keep moving. It's like a constant thing. Once you get done with that, you move on to the next. But uh, hopefully it will be like the one before where on each lesson I require you to at least make a 75 or higher before you can go to the next lesson because I feel that if you didn't at least make a 75, then you didn't grasp what you were doing. So hopefully this program will be kind of the same. And after you've gone through all the exercises, then you're going to be ready to prepare for certification. So that is something that I want you guys to really – buckle down and focus on because when you are certified in Microsoft, um, you'll be able to put that on your resume as one of your certifications. It really looks good on your resume and you could also score a job uh, as opposed to somebody who has a college education but does not know how to do Microsoft Office. So it's very important. It's very something, I mean, if you, if you pass, I mean, it's something great. Something you should feel proud of. Okay, so we're going to work on that, hopefully Monday, because I was going to plan on it today, but it's a little extra work. Um, so we're still working on that. But also, okay, also, um, let me see what this I want y'all to go into. So y'all saw that I put that the, uh, normally the uh, at our attendance I do via email. But I have decided from beginning tomorrow to the end of school year, I'm going to put it in quizzes like I put your norm, your daily attendance quiz. So it'll be called Attendance Friday. Tomorrow it'll be called Attendance Friday 925. And next week it'll be Attendance Friday 10 2. 
it'll, it'll correspond with whatever date we're on for that Friday. But you'll go in, you'll ask the questions, and that way I'll know who's actually done it because I have some people emailing me so they did the attendance quiz, but it's not showing up on my end when I go back even to put your email or your name in individually. It doesn't show up, but it's showing up on your end. So I want to make sure that I have everything covered. So Friday morning, probably about 8.30, um, I probably put in about 8.30, go in and check it. You have until about 2.45. I'm not, I used to have the tennis quiz going out until late Friday night. But I want to have a life and you want to have a life. And I want to make sure that you know how to adhere to deadlines. So I will post it and it will be up until 2.45 tomorrow. That's enough time for you to get things done. Um, let me see who else has decided to join me today. Might be the same people coming in and out. All right, so I'm going to let me share my screen so I can kind of see where we're at. Also, in announcements, if you have not taken your um, test, here's the test link. You go right here, click on that, and you'll click into your um, your test, your Google Google Docs um, test that I have prepared for you. You need to get that done. Uh, career chats, we're not having one this week. They'll probably start up next week. Um, let's go to modules. And remember, if you have any assignments, please turn them in uh, into your folder that I have provided for you. you everybody got an invite for you to uh, collaborate. That means for you to put your work in your own folder. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we got going on. By now, everybody should hopefully, if you have not, you better get on it. You should have your class descriptions, letter, references, your um, study guide should be turned into me. Um, so make sure that you have your study guide for um, turn into me. Um, everybody, our resume document, we will be working on that. Make sure you have gathered your information because I'm going to start setting up dates um, next week that you're going to um, work with Mr. Tunjo on your resume. Then you went down, so you didn't really have to type the resume, but you could. Um, I don't know if I told y'all, I can't remember, but I know we were going to do the Tech Terrorist 3 document, the volunteer coaches. I wanted you to do your Lesson 3 term quiz. Make sure you do that. Then we went down to Lesson 4. You, everybody should have their guided notes. You get your guided notes. You take get the information from your Lesson 4 PowerPoint. So make sure you do that. Your guided notes need to be turned in. Your next assignments were to do the alarm and the arrow document. After that, we are, we are caught up. So make sure you are doing the necessary uh, assignments that you need to get done. And also on tomorrow, I am going to post in quizzes, but I'll put it in announcements, send you a reminder. I am going to... Um, Create a five to ten, um, a five to ten question uh, quiz or test, and some of it will be multiple choice. Some of it may be fill in the blank, or some of it may be just an essay. But it's not going to be anything that you don't know, or it's going to be something that you should know. Okay, so we will do that on tomorrow. We'll get that done. Does anybody? I'm going to let Jayla, I mean, Jayla going to correspond on something. But does anybody else have their flyer ready and ready to present today? Hold on. Let me check something out real quick, y'all. Oh, 
that. Everybody, somebody sent me a message. Oh, okay. All right, Jay, uh, Malaysia. Make sure you go do the attendance quiz, but you have to watch the video. Uh, if you give me a little bit, I will post the video. I send you the video, and after I send you the video, I send the video uh, email. Let me do that right now. I'm gonna send you an email. You look at the you look at the videos about four minutes and forty seconds. After you look at the video, you go and do the attendance quiz. I hope that what video will pop up. I just sent you an email. I will check and see if I got it. Let me send this email to this real better. Also, um, Got an email from a student, so I always try to check my emails. Um, also, Malaysia, make sure that you uh, go in announcements and that you, where it says test link, you'll go in and open it up and go to the document if you have not already done that. Also, make sure that you open up the link for the. Uh, Microsoft the Office 365, download that and to, so you can get that on your computer. Okay. Does anybody have any comments or concerns or anything? Make sure tomorrow you know where where is your attendance Friday going to be? Where is your attendance Friday going to be? And I've also shown you the other things that you need to do. Uh, so make sure you take your test too. Make sure you do the tennis before 2.45 tomorrow. And um, I'm going to let y'all guys go. Hope you have a great remainder of the week, great weekend, and I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, Jay, let's stay on here, please, if you uh, will. Bye, Miss Hargrave. I um make sure I get them assignments in. Okay. You have a nice day, Miss Hargrave. All right, you, you too. Me, uh, you said pick them documents in a uh, Google Drive. Anything we do just put in a Google Drive, right? Yes, and just always send me alert, send me an email. So Miss Hargrave, I put some stuff in my folder. Check it. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Have a good weekend. You too. All righty. Jayla, let me see where we are at. Jayla, Jayla. Hold up. Hey, Jayla, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So I just, just did a little something. I didn't get to do everything because I wanted to talk with you. But I think you did a, um, a great flyer. Just like, like um, make sure to um, highlight certain things. Sometimes you can highlight it.
like the location, the date, and the time. I put you you have food and drinks will be provided. There will be lots of candy, so you do not have to bring any candy. Um, costumes are required. I highlighted that. Um, here you go, you sit because it is a Halloween party. There, haunted house. Uh, bring bring a wear. Is that be aware? What does that say? Bring I bring um say bring a mask. Bring a okay. So uh, make sure you say uh, uh, social distance. Make sure you put uh, bring a mask for your safety and everyone else's everyone else's uh, safety. Put a period. Then you put uh, bring friends and family. For friends, friends and family for have fun with us and everything is free. You can say uh, bring uh, friends and family. Let's see. Let's see. Bring a mask. Wear a mask. Watch this. Say wear a mask. You might want to put that. I probably would uh, put that. Okay, so you did it. You got everything right there. Yeah, because it uh, put where well, I said bring a mask, put wear a mask and, and highlight that. And you might, uh, when you highlight it, you might want to make the text a little bit bigger. That wear a mask can be bigger, so it'll stand out. Okay, for your safety and everyone else's safety. Oh, sure. Put a period after, right here, after safety. Then you're going to put bring friends and family. So capital B. And I probably will put just not because you have to, but just because uh, it'll make it stand out. Put a L, capital F in friends and capital F in family. And I might would uh, the, uh, bring fr friends and family exclamation part. I'm an exclamation mark and bold text there. You said to bring a set of friends and family. Okay. Um, this right here, let me see. Hold on.
Okay, so I think everything else is good. What I would suggest in the future would be to to use your um, utilize the bullets. But I think everything else looks fine. I think you did a great job. So on Monday you can present your flyer. Okay. All righty, I appreciate it. You have a good one. Okay. You too. All right. Bye bye.